I am Anil Kumar. We are learning how to solve quadratic equations which involve fractions. The question is solve x squared divided by 9 minus x divided by 3 equals to 2. The strategy here is uh, first we should find the lowest common denominator, right? So, lowest common denominator. Now, in this case, between 9 and 3, lowest common denominator is 9, right? Now, once you know what is the lowest common denominator, you can multiply each term by the lowest common denominator, right? So, now the next step is to multiply each term by lowest common denominator. When you do that, you get rid of fractions, right? So, all this is done to get rid of fractions. Now, then you get a linear, I mean, quadratic equation without fractions. Right? So, let's do this step. So, we know lowest common denominator is 9. So, we'll do 9 times x squared over 9 minus 9 times x over 3 equals to 9 times 2. So, we have multiplied each term in this equation by 9. Now, 9 and 9, when you divide, you get 1. So, right? So, 1 times x squared is x squared. This, when you divide, you get 3. So, now you can write this equation as x squared minus 3x equals to 9 times 2. It's good to write it in brackets. 9 times 2, which is 18, right? So, we have a quadratic equation where the fractions are gone, right? That makes it simpler. So, now we can rearrange. So, we can write this as x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals to 0. At this stage, you can use product sum or quadratic equation. So, let's factor this using product and sum. So, we are looking for product of minus 18. So, we'll factor. So, we, we are doing factoring now using product and sum. And sum is minus 3. So, the two numbers which could give us minus 18 as the product and sum of minus 3 are 6 and 3. And one of them, which is bigger number, should be negative, right? So, when you add them, you get negative. So, that's the idea. So, you can use these two magic terms to factor. So what we get here is x minus 6 times x plus 3 equal to 0, right? So, we get this factored form. And from here, you can write down the answer. These two factors, they can be 0. The first one, when x is equal to 6. The other one, when x equals to minus 3. So, that becomes the solution of this equation. So, we can write down the answer as x equals to 6 and minus 3. So, these are the two solutions for the given equation. I hope the steps are very clear. Let's go through them. Whenever you have fractions, find the lowest common denominator. Multiply each term by lowest common denominator, thereby getting rid of fractions. And then you can use quadratic formula or you can factor the quadratic equation and get the answer. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.